You want to be my agent? <laughs> okay, I'll be yours. Do so you want me to? Oh, hi. Welcome to Mary's or welcome to Charger Chat. It's a Marysville uh, talk show, and uh, I'm here with Ryan Haskell, and we're interviewing Mr. Hanak, our uh, our own teacher here at ISC. And uh, he was a teacher, and he was also an actor for a few commercials. And uh, we're just going to ask him a few questions. So uh, our first question is, when did you discover that you wanted to be a teacher? Well, I thought that um, it was a time for a change when I was um, in engineering. I used to work for the Boeing company, designing um, parts for the 747 airplane. Um, and after a few series of um, job changes, I thought I would return to teaching because I thought I had some skills that, that uh, young people could accept and that they could uh, readily learn to help them in growing, um, not only to be you know members of, of society, but also to, to help them be engineers. Uh, what was it like being an engineer at Boeing? It was like being, it was like taking, um, focusing on one small part of this huge million part airplane and me doing the best job I possibly could, which was to design a part that would help the airplane fly fly farther, faster, and with more passengers. Is it, uh, is it scary working on something like that, like knowing if you mess up, you could like, it could harm like people's lives and stuff? Mm, no, because the, the system at, at Boeing, and also for um, any, any kind of um, designing of any parts, is such that it, it, it has many, many iterations. For many of you, you can relate by saying that, uh, say, Ms. Krager would want you to write something and write it again and make sure you get the draft right and then do another one, then finally you put it on paper for final presentation. It's the same way with any airplane part. There's parts here, there, what would work best. Oh, if we design uh, an airplane part to be this big and to carry this many more passengers, well, how much is it going to weigh? If it weighs too much, we can't use it. If it uses too much fuel, we can't use it. If it costs too much, we can't use it. So we then scale it down and to something that can be readily reproducible, as well as something that can be uh, economic and uh, that we can support. So the same, by the same token, what I mentioned, let's see, I had to do with uh, a couple designs that I really uh, enjoyed doing when I was at the Boeing Company. One was the design for putting winglets on the 747 airplane, on the very ends of the airplane, as well as uh, the, what's, co what's called the extended upper deck. The extended upper deck had to, had to do with making longer the second level on a 747. Okay. So why did you stop being an actor and begin being an engineer? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, in acting. In acting, uh, it's, it's a very difficult job if you want to make a career at it, and even more difficult if you want to do it full time, because it's not like showing up from eight to five and doing your 40 hours per week and then going home. It's being on call. So on, the, oh, by the way, Steve, my agent would call me up and say, you have here uh, an opportunity to get in this commercial. And then so I would say, okay, go, when is it? Where do I go? And then I would get the particulars over the phone, have to make arrangements with my job, arrangements <coughs> with my boss. Can I go and leave this time? What's well, okay, I'll make up for it by doing it at another time. And then I would go. So that, uh, the jobs that I would, I would have during the time I was acting would not allow that, okay? And the other reason is that of all the, of all the people who, who are actors, only the top part here, the t very top tier, are the ones who make a full-time living at it. Um, I was a pretty much a part-time actor for, for 12 years in Indianapolis, in Chicago, and somewhat here in Seattle, although not that much. And one thing I'll never forget was someone told me, do not, <laughs> do not quit your day job. Taking a risk, yes, it's, it, it could mean um, I could support it by having a job that would support me doing that. Oh yeah, it's okay if you go off and take a couple hours here. But many are not like that. 
Um, what agency picked you up in Seattle? Do you remember the name of it? Uh, let's see. I believe it was uh, Lola Hollowell. Okay. It's one, one agency. I also worked for another. All right. Um, how long were you an actor? I know you said 12 years. 12 years, uh, yes. And, and that was commercially. Non-commercially, by that I mean a community theater. Uh, I've done probably 10 years of community theater as well as done work on radio. All right. Um, so do you, did you do anything else in besides acting in commercials? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, mountain climbing and hiking. For example, here in Washington State, I've climbed Mount Rainier, climbed uh, Mount Adams, Mount Baker, Glacier Peak twice, and Mount St. Helens before it blew up. What about Mount Everest? Mount Everest, not <laughs> yet. Not okay. yet. Actually, uh, I'm probably not going to try for that one. All right. Um, what did you do enjoy the most about acting? Acting? Um, <coughs> I like the, the ability to just <laughs> be myself in front of a camera. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So, have you ever thought of teaching anything else? Like besides math? Yeah, besides math. I've taught uh, computer programming before at another high school. And I've also, um, besides teaching, um, there was uh, financial algebra as well as uh, English language for um, speakers of foreign languages. Yes, so. Um, what did you major in while you were in college? When I was at the University of Michigan, I majored in uh, aerospace engineering with a uh, minor in uh, technical writing. Okay. Um, what do you love about being a teacher? Oh, I like the interaction with the students. I like trying to uh, trying to get them to see that they uh, that that students pretty much already know the math. It's just the the need to be guided and 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 directed in a way where they can pick up another level of math. Um, do you enjoy math yourself? Oh yes, oh yes. Yes. Uh, which which your favorite subject in math? His favorite subject in math, I I like teaching the. Um, I like teaching pre-calculus and, um, and uh, algebra 2 and geometry as well. So you, uh, you teach financial algebra also. Uh, yes. What is that exactly about? Well, uh, financial algebra has <coughs> to do, ha actually puts it together for, um, for many, uh, many students who, who may not have done all that well when they were taking earlier classes. For example, um, as, as math teachers, when you first come into the into the high school, you're, we have you remember that, you know, 5 minus 3 is 2, that's a positive number, but, you know, you go the other way, 3 minus 5, that's a negative 2. So, you know, what's the difference? And I've had some students come and say to me, well, you know, 2 minus 2, what's the difference? Well, here on a piece of paper in algebra or geometry, not that much, but if you talk about financial algebra, you have five thousand dollars in your account you spend three thousand you have two thousand left good or how about you have uh, a credit line of two thousand dollars on your credit card and then you spend five thousand or you try to spend five thousand two thousand minus five thousand is minus three thousand not a good situation to be in when you owe three thousand dollars Okay, so positives and negatives make a big difference, a big difference in your life. So that's why one of the, uh, we put a great emphasis on positive and negative numbers. Okay, um, thanks for answering that question. Uh, we're going to go do a segment real quick. And, uh, yeah.
so frustrated. So I heard you were gonna get an A on your test, you nerd. Yeah. yeah you, nerd. you stupid nerd. Yeah. You nerd. Fatty. You nerd. nerd. Fatty. Chubby. Nerd. Chubby. 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 You're, you're a nerd, nerd. though. Nerd. nerd. Oh my gosh! Leave me alone! to get out of this tunnel here. It's very hard. Wish I had my pocket knife. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have ate so much crumpets. Oh, it's hard being in the wilderness. All right, we're back with Charger Chat. Um, so what did you think of that segment? Oh, I thought that um, Nate was, uh, was working his muscles, you know, and I'm really proud of him for that because not only is he working, working the arms, working the buys, working the pecs, but he's also working the brain, doing the math work. And so I think, I think that it promises really well for him being a well-rounded student. I wish him well. <laughs> All right, so before we cut to break, you were, we were still talking about math, right? Yeah. Um, do you think math, like geometry and stuff, actually helps kids for the future? Do you think it, uh, like they need it? Oh, I think so. I think so. If, um, for example, uh, driving through Everett, there's a lot of construction going on here. And um, if you look at some of the construction, you can see there's cranes up there that are basically built with triangles. Mm -hmm. And a triangle is a very solid, uh, a very, yeah, a very solid, shape that does not move at any in any uh, any method any kind of wind any kind of structural uh, structural um, faults are, are difficult to, to occur when we have them on a on a crane so there we are with triangles and the buildings have all kinds of squares and windows then we go into financial algebra how much glass does it take for that window how much does it cost how many do you need so there's a right there a window installer, window estimator. There's one job that we can offer uh, training on, basically by completing some of the work and maybe even going out and taking a look at some. And okay, estimate some of the windows here and how much it would cost: single pane, double pane, triple pane, vinyl, aluminum. All of those factors go in. So there's math in in that job as well as many other jobs. Have you uh, have you ever worked with a crane? Like, have you ever been the Dude, moving or whatever, because you said you used to be an engineer. You used to be like an engineer, yes, stuff, but so. um, it was uh, just it was on way. airplanes. Okay. Airplanes. There are many different kinds of engineers. Um, another thing about math, uh, I, I forgot. <laughs> I'll just go to your turn to question. Um, what do you like to do in your free time, like when you get home from work? Oh, let's see. What I do is I, um, uh, I maintain uh, the garden that I have. We have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five different kinds of fruit trees, or pear trees, rather. Four different kinds of apples, um, plum trees, cherry trees. Uh, I have chickens, and um, I have, right now, this time of year, I probably have 20,000 bees, which you're, is low. You're also a beekeeper? No, I'm also a beekeeper, yeah. So in the summer, that expands to like 100,000 100, bees. What is that like? That's, that's like uh, being careful. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Stung by one? Oh yes, I've been stung a few times. Do you yep. uh, 
Do you wear those white suits? I wear that suit. I'm not confident like some of the beekeepers who just wade right in there and say, oh, let me see, what, how much honey do we have here today? Yeah. No, I can't quite do that. I have to dress up. Are they, uh, are they aggressive? Only if you're, uh, only if you're bothering uh, where, they, where they keep their eggs. Yeah, okay. Uh, is there any other animals other than bees and chickens that you raise on your little farm? On my little farm, no. Yeah. It's not really a farm, will it? I think so sometimes. No, it's just in the, it's just in the city. And um, I have a dog as well. Okay, cool. Uh, what kind of dog is it? He's a Border Collie, and uh, we've trained him to, um, to hunt mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yes. Okay. Morels in the um, spring in eastern Washington. What is your most enjoyable experience as a teacher? As a teacher, it would be seeing, uh, seeing uh, most of the class, uh, or ver most of the class doing doing well on a test. Um, do you have any problems with any of your students? I don't know, Logan. Do I have any problems <laughs> with any students? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Well. There are, there are some that would rather be somewhere else, and all I can try and convince them is that, is that you know, if you really want to succeed in your next level, wherever you're going, your next career, because if you think of this little time slot as basically a small window in your life of four years in high school, and if you get as much of this free advice and much of this free training and, and how to how to how to behave in, a, in in school? All of that translates into how well you're going to do in a job in the future. Um, okay. When you were in high school, did you did you uh, like what was your GPA? How did you work in high school? Were you uh, on task all the time? I was. Um, I had a, a 3.5 GPA in, in school, um, and it was good enough to get me into the University of Michigan. I did pretty well on a uh, on the SAT. Um, there are some, some things now that I look back, I think that, God, you know, if I had taken that, if I had had financial algebra as one of my classes back in high school, I'd have saved myself thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars, because when I came out of high school, I was, I was focusing on, on college and getting to the next level. So I didn't know that much about checkbooks, credit cards, mortgages, loans, budgeting, paying for bills. So it's a again financial algebra is a great it's a great way to um, to find out about those ahead of time. Remember, when you're here in high school, we want you to make those little mistakes, so we can fix them. So that way you will make the big ones when you go out. Uh, what do you think's more beneficial, financial algebra or algebra two? Depends on your plans. Depends. Okay. Depends on your plans. If you if you plan on going to community college, take as much math as you can. I recommend both. Definitely. Okay. Um, what, have you, have you taught any other subjects other than math? Uh, yes, I've taught computer programming. Okay. And, um, also a, uh, what do we call it? We call it a, a STEM project where, um, I would teach part, I supported a STEM project in uh, robotics. It's the, uh, high school is that previously would send robots to a competition. They would build a robot, and I supported the building of that robot by uh, helping students get the math right to see if the uh, <laughs> robot would shoot basketballs. <laughs> did you did you play any sports like basketball or anything in high school? No, no, I pl no basketball, but I did play baseball. Baseball, baseball yep. school. I like your uh, I pardon. Were you pretty good at it? Mm, well, uh, I didn't get drafted. I didn't play in the. In, a, in anybody's um, minor league system. I just played independent ball. Okay. But I still think I got the swing. Okay. Um, was that, do you think that would be your favorite sport? Oh, yeah. Was I that like the baseball. only one you've played? Yep. Yeah. I played, I played soccer, I played football. Okay. Um, that's pretty quick. Wasn't too fast. Yeah. So I could get run down really quick. Do you that's enjoy when I think I'd score, a, someone would come from behind and just tackle me. Yeah. Do you enjoy watching baseball? I, oh, yeah. I, 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 I enjoy watching on. all sports. All right. Go uh, right. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> what What did you have to do to uh, shoot these commercials? We're just going back to like your acting career. Sure. Talking sure. About your career. Um, 
Peter, I know you're going to ask some more questions on that. Um, well, I took some um, I took some acting classes, and that was really good. Uh, also took uh, took some classes on voiceovers. So I've done a few okay. commercials there and worked as a radio announcer. You're listening to KBCS Bellevue, Seattle. It's a new tradition. Have you ever? Uh did you ever take any video classes in high school like this one that we have here? No, no, I didn't have that opportunity. Again, um, there was there was a drama class, but I didn't I didn't take um, any any acting classes until I got out and started working in community theater. Oh, all right, all right. Well, thank you. Uh, we're gonna cut to another segment. So, see you guys in a minute. Dude, I hate when Logan keeps trying to close the door on me. It's so annoying. Why are you guys late for class? Because Simron is being a bully. What? <laughs> No, I wasn't. Okay, guys, get to work. Pencils of paper. Hey, dude, you want to see a science experiment? Watch this. It's like, dude, what's it's like, a, it's what like the, a geyser. What the? What are you doing? Hey, dude, you want to see a science experiment? Watch this. It's like, dude, what's it's the, like, it's what like the, a geyser. What the? What are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Uh, we're here with uh, Mr. Hanak and Ryan Haskell, and uh, we're going to talk about acting again. So, we got a little port like a uh, little sample of your acting in that segment. Uh, <laughs> how was that? How'd well, you like that? let's you see. Like put it together. You guys gave me a speaking part, and I'm you know really happy for that. So I'll be expecting the check. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> is is it okay if we maybe uh, have you back for another? Oh yeah. Segment? Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. Just you know make sure. Make sure that I sign uh, things, and my and my union knows that I'm doing this because you know I want to 
I want to be good with the union. Yeah. Uh, exactly what were the commercials about that you acted in? Well, um, a few of them, um, I think I've shown. Um, yeah, you showed our class a few. That's right. right. I showed the class uh, a series of commercials I made for Trinity Homes, mm -hmm. which is a, um, a company that specializes in, in building, uh, building subdivisions of homes. And they were looking for a typical, uh, I don't know, I guess a typical American couple and someone like me they were targeting so that they could in invite people to come in, take a look at the homes, and then and buy them. Okay. And uh, what was fun about it was that uh, during this commercial, uh, I showed up on the day of the commercial, and that was the day I, that I, I met my wife, and I met my and my met my son. Now, your, your fake wife. And fake my wife. my stage yes, my <laughs> stage <laughs> wife and my stage son, and it was kind of amazing since he you know oh I have a son now and he's ten years old, what. I didn't, but then, you know, it all came together. And people say that we look similar, at least in the, um, at least in the, in the commercial we shot. And it was, uh, yeah, we were all, well, we were all blondies and we we're all just scared, scared of our favorite Uncle Bill who comes by and who's always been um, kind of a free spirit and someone who would basically uh, wreck the house. Mm -hmm. So it was the, the conflict and the, the plot was we are showing him that the house that we have is actually very good, well constructed, and sorry, Uncle Bill, we didn't call you for this one, but we want you to know we still love you anyway. Did you uh, have to practice a lot to do these commercials? Did they have the, you come um, in a lot? The first commercial was shot uh, in one day, so that's a 30 second commercial, okay. and we, we did a whole day on it um, from, from eight till five. And did, did they give you a script beforehand for you to read at least, or did you go in and learn we, that day? We had the script available, yes. Uh, I did not have any speaking parts. Oh, okay. And I think my, my son did and my wife did, but it was only a brief line. It was ma mainly um, Uncle Bill that, that That's got right. all That's right, I remember lines. that. M uh, mainly the commercials were about the same thing, Trinity Homes, right? All, right. All, <laughs> not all like of them, but the, but the selection that you, sh that you uh, viewed had, uh, I think, four of them. And uh, again, the... Um, the producers pretty much uh, liked the very first one. They thought it went over very well. And so they called us back three months later, and we made three more. Cool. Um, also in class afterwards, you told us you used to sing a little bit. Oh, singing? Yes, yeah, you used yes, to in a yes. band or something, right? Yes, I used to sing in a band. Um, it was in, uh, actually, uh, Northern Ireland. They happened to need an American Ireland? singer for a while. You lived in Ireland? I did not. I was traveling through. Oh, OK. But I, I uh, played a couple gigs with them, and it, it was fun. How was that? It was, it was interesting being, it was very f fun and, uh, and, and, and kind of like, right like I am right now, let's see, what's the right thing to say, what's not? Because Northern Ireland at the time uh, was in the middle of some um, political troubles. So uh, I was able to at least provide some entertainment and some levity and, and had some fun while I was there, but still watching out for uh, anything that I, I may say that may offend some people. Uh, is it scary singing in front of or doing concerts in front of people? Was, no, there, was there a lot of people? No, 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 no. I've, um, I've also done uh, some storytelling in, um, in front of uh, maybe a thousand, a thousand people here in Seattle and also in Nevada uh -huh. where they have a cowboy, sto uh, cowboy poetry festival. So I performed there and that was rather fun. All right, well, the show's about to end, so we're going to ask one last question. Um, yes. What has been your favorite part of, like, your life? Like, what's your most important, like, or what's your, hmm. I don't know how to explain but this, but, like, what's, what's just your favorite part about your life so far? Like, hmm. your best would, day ever or something. Oh, let's see. I would say uh, always looking to see what's next because uh, there's, there's something about me that isn't quite satisfied with it and what I'm doing, and so I always want to improve it or find another way that I can express what's, what's inside myself to be able, to, um, to, be able to, to do well at something I have not yet discovered yet. And I'm hoping that by showing some, um, some things in math as well as some things about myself that, that also uh, spreads and um, my students notice that as well. Okay, well, uh, thank you for being here. And uh, that wraps up the show. This was uh, Getchell's Charger Chat, and we'll see you guys next time.